everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name is Repeteron, and today we're going to be doing a bit of a different video. This is going to be a speculation video, or maybe a conspiracy video, I don't know how it's going to turn out by the end of this. But this is going to be talking about the new secondary weapons, and kind of what I'm expecting from them, as well as potential overclocks. Like I said, this is completely speculation, this is completely conjecture. I have no insight into any of these weapons, I don't know any more than anybody else does at this point, so uh, your guess is as good as mine. We do know what all of the new weapons are going to be uh, for each of the classes, and I would like to talk about them. First up, we're going to talk about Driller, since he's pulled up right here, and Driller is getting a microwave gun. You know, might as well add another war crime style weapon to their arsenal, about the only weapon they they have that's not a war crime is like the Sabata. I've heard some speculation saying that it will have extremely long range, which if that's the case, I'm wondering how it's going to be balanced. If it's more powerful up close and then kind of tapers off at different ranges, so maybe there's a range indicator and you use up more fuel, more ammunition at these longer ranges to potentially cook bugs. I'm also wondering how accurate it is because in the clip that we've seen, um, it seems fairly accurate, but it seems to hit multiple enemies. I'm also not sure if it technically goes through multiple enemies, like it has a piercing function similar to blow through rounds. If so, that would be very interesting. Uh, for this weapon, I honestly don't know what kind of overclocks are planned for it. I know um, some people are speculating a radiation mod uh, or a radiation overclock, which I think is very likely that we're going to get some sort of radiation mod, which would be great because the only radiation thing that we actually have right now is nukes from Engineer. It would be cool to see some more radioactive effects throughout the game. Now I'm honestly thinking that that will probably be more likely a mod than an overclock, or maybe we'll have a mod and an overclock for that. I imagine for clean overclocks, we're probably not going to get anything super crazy for it, but I could be wrong. I mean, we did with some of the other weapons like the Drac, which we got really awesome clean overclocks. But this one is probably the one that I would least speculate about on overclocks because there's a lot you could do with a microwave gun. And I'm really curious to see what they come up with. So this one I'm just going to leave as is. Let's go over to the next class, which is Engineer. And Engineer is getting the Shard Diffractor. This was the last shown uh, new primary weapon. And it looks really awesome. It looks like we have an Amarin laser that we get to shoot out laser beams from. I know a lot of people have wanted a laser cannon or Tesla cannon of some sort, and it seems like we're getting that. Um, I'm wondering how this is going to work. I've heard some speculation about it functioning similar to the Amarin beamers do in the escort mission. So it charges up and then shoots out a concentrated beam, which I could see as either a mod or an overclock. If it's a mod, it's probably going to be a tier five mod. If it's going to be an overclock, it's probably going to be either a balanced or an unstable overclock. There has also been speculation about it, uh, an overclock that would just turn it pretty much into a Spartan laser from Halo, which I would be all for. I think that would be awesome. Um, I imagine if you have something like that, it would definitely be an unstable overclock where you can charge up the gun and then fire it. Maybe it has really long range. It's uh, unsure as to how long the base range of the Shard Diffractor really is. It looks like it's pretty decent range, but I'm wondering if it at all falls off or arcs or if it just has a cutoff limit similar to like the flamethrower and the cryo cannon where once you go to the maximum reach you're no longer hitting them but you might still have some of the particle effects that look like they're hitting enemies around it um, i'm kind of thinking it's going to be like that i think that it's going to be a short range weapon that does really high damage or really high damage per second it would probably have to do pretty high damage per second just to compete with the breach cutter and with the grenade launcher because it seems like they're going with the big heavy guns for engineer secondary which i like um, engineer has probably the strongest secondaries in the game but you know, when it's the breach cutter and the grenade launcher, it's kind of hard to beat them. So this one, I'm wondering how ammo efficient it's going to be. If it's going to be really ammo efficient, and maybe this won't do as much damage as the other weapons, but be more for sustained damage. I'm also wondering if this is going to have any sort of collision physics with the environment around it. Can you break up rocks? Can you cut down things with it? Or is it going to act like the breach cutter where you can just, you know, shoot right through any sort of solid object? If that's the case, then this will be very interesting, and it could be really strong in certain situations, especially if you have a driller that you're uh, in comms with or something, get really close to something, shoot through a wall and hit it. That might be an overclock as well, I don't know. Um, for other overclocks, we could have multiple beams come out of it. It could end up acting like a shotgun. That could be a potential overclock too, I think, because this is kind of just a shard beam. So maybe making it like a, uh, a mirror shot or something where it has multiple shots coming out of it, I think would be really interesting. For Gunner, we are getting the coil gun, which looks like a mini rail gun or a pistol rail gun. 
of sorts that you can charge up and then shoot. And it appears that you can shoot through material. Uh, how much material, I don't know, and how far you can actually shoot through material. I'm not sure if there's going to be a cutoff limit or if it can just keep going. Um, if it keeps going, then that could cause some potential issues. You might be able to hit a prospector across the map that you've never seen at the very start of the game. You might be able to accidentally trigger uh, Dreadnought Cocoons. You might also accidentally snipe friends, although I imagine that one's going to be the most difficult one to do. It seems like the pistol charges up and then fires. I don't know if every shot needs to be charged up or if there will be a level of charge that you can charge it to before it fires, similar to how the plasma pistol works for Driller, where you can use regular shots or you can use a charged up shot. I'm thinking it might just be charged up shots because of how the gun looked like it work in the trailer here. I'm also very interested to see how it competes with the revolver in particular. I don't think it's really going to compete with the burst pistol because the burst pistol is kind of its own separate thing. Um, it can still do really high damage and it can compete with like the revolver's damage. But I'm wondering, since we already have a really high damage single target weapon with some really high damage single target overclocks like homebrew powder, volatile bullets, and elephant rounds, how that's going to uh, work with the coil gun. Are we going to get overclocks that do something else? Are we going to get overclocks that buff its damage? I'm pretty sure we'll get something that, you know, you get a faster charge or maybe you get a shorter charge for doing different things. Um, you know, maybe a longer charge, but it's less ammo efficient. And I'm not sure if there's a heat mechanic with this gun. It didn't seem like there was, but maybe you have to wait a certain amount of time before you can reload it. This one should be very interesting, though. I think it's going to be great for picking things off of the ceiling. So if you end up seeing leeches or uh, if you can use cover to then shoot something big like a spitballer or a menace. Uh, anything like that I think is going to be really useful. It might even be really useful for dreadnoughts as well if you can punch right through them, similar to how other weapons can, like the sludge blast with the sludge pump can, or like the seeker rounds with the uh, smart rifle. And then the last weapon, and the weapon I think I'm looking forward to the most, is Scout's Crossbow. This one seems very interesting. Um, it looks like you can go and pick up your bolts, which is a good addition. We've also seen a showcase of multiple different bolts, but we're not really sure what they do. The one in the trailer looked like it was an IFG bolt, where you could shoot it and maybe it has an IFG effect. Maybe all the crossbow bolts will have their own grenade effects. So you can set up things like proxy mines, maybe from uh, Engineer, or they might just be restricted to scouts grenades. I'm really not sure. It looks like it takes a little while to reload, although it does seem to do pretty high damage. I wouldn't be surprised if this has uh, bonus penetration on it by default. Um, it seems like it would just kind of naturally do that. I'm also wondering how the base crossbow is going to work with the base M1000 rifle. I feel like they might not be super ammo efficient, and you might be limiting yourself to just a single target playstyle, which wouldn't be particularly bad on like elimination missions or maybe even on uh, escort missions depending on the team comp and everything but i feel like it could make certain solo situations pretty difficult especially if you want to combine it with something like super cooling chamber with the m1000 and then who knows what we're going to get with the crossbow i'm assuming we're going to get explosive bolts for the crossbow that one seems kind of a given because what game doesn't have explosive bolts in the crossbow i'm also wondering how we switch between our normal bolts and these special bolts that we have for the gun can we pick up the special bolts as just regular bolts, or is it once they're used we can't pick them up at all? For other overclocks, I've heard speculation of a repeating crossbow, which I think would be really cool. You get multiple shots at the crossbow, maybe they do reduce damage, but you get a whole lot more of them. Potentially a crossbow that functions similar to the one in Bioshock, where we have electro lines that we shoot out and then enemies cross across them and get zapped, similar to how like turret arc works with the uh, stubby SMG. I think all of those would be really interesting ideas and I'm really wondering what we're going to get out of the crossbow because there's so much you could do with the crossbow too. So those are my uh, speculations on the new weapons. I'm really looking forward to all of them. I think I'm looking forward to the crossbow the most, but I'm going to be playing all of them once they come out, uh, both with and without overclocks. I'm going to be trying a whole bunch of builds. And once I feel like I have a decent enough understanding of all the weapons, then I'll start doing guides. I don't want to put them out as soon as the weapons drop because I there's just so much that can change during that time and there's so much of my opinion that could change because that's how it was with the new primary weapons and some of the overclocks that I talked about for them I thought they were kind of you know maybe meh or not really that great like maybe aggressive venting with the drac or the explosive chemical rounds with the loki where I said they were just kind of okay not really my thing and now they're like some of my favorite overclocks probably in the game in general uh, tell me your thoughts down below on the new weapons and what overclocks you would like to see with them uh, this video was a lot of fun to make. Tell me if you would like to see more of these kind of speculation or discussion videos. 
about different topics in DRG. I'm always open to them. I'm wondering how this one's going to go over. And thank you guys so very much for watching this. I really do appreciate it. Uh, special thanks to the supporters of this channel. These are my members over here on YouTube and my patrons over on Patreon. If you would like to be a part of this and get early access to videos, you can. There is links down in the description. You can join either of these for as low as a dollar a month. Thanks everybody who does that. I really do appreciate it. And I hope all of you guys have a great day. I will talk to you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe and see you later. Bye-bye.